Hey, I'm Graham English. Welcome to the Logic Studio Minute. Now, a lot of Logic 7 users were upset when they upgraded to find that Logic 8 removed floating windows for region parameters. And I was one of those people. Well, they've come back in Logic 9, and that's great news. Let's say I have a snare selected, and I need to look at the region parameter. I hit Option R, and a little floating window comes up that floats above everything else showing me the region parameters. Now if I'm moving around it updates with the, the region that's selected. And this is good news for a couple of reasons. Let's say you are changing region parameters for a lot of different regions quickly. Well we can select the regions and it's a faster mouse movement to have this near your mouse than to come all the way up here. Another good thing is let's say we hit I and get with the arrange window uh, selected we hit I and get rid of the inspector well now we can get to it quickly so if we're wor worried about screen real estate and we don't have our inspector showing and we need to get to that quickly rather than going I and going back to it we can just select that region option R and it shows up option R again gets rid of it I'm going to show you one other tip while I've got you here. If you ever need an external window for one of these editors down here, all you have to do, drag it, and you get a new one. Need a piano roll editor? Bang. There you go. It's just a fast little tip to get your editors in an external window fast. So I hope you find these useful, and I'll be bringing more Logic Pro 9 tips to you shortly. Thanks for watching. If you're really serious about becoming a Logic Studio Power user, drop what you're doing and head to LogicStudioTraining.com. We've got hours of Logic Studio tutorials for beginners like you've seen here and some really advanced stuff to take your music to the next level. See you there.